So here are 10 facts you may or may not know about the Altiport in Courchevel. Bienvenue and welcome to 150 Days of Winter. Hello. Seven screws, one plate. Courchevel's Altiport is situated 2,000 meters above sea level just above the ski resort of Courchevel 1850. Courchevel Altiport was originally built in 1961 as a grass slope. In 1968 it was permanently tarmacked and then in 1971 it was permanently cleared of snow throughout the year. The word Altiport was first imagined during the inauguration of the Maribel Altiport back in July 1962 by Joseph Selitsky, president of Turbo America, and Michel Ziegler, who was a pilot and a high mountain how and a high mountain guide. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the slope is the steepest in the world for an international airport. But then who believes the Guinness Book of Records? It's also listed as one of the most dangerous airports in the world. There is no go-round procedure for landings due to the surrounding mountainous terrain. The runway has no instrument approach procedure and no lighting age, thus making landing in fog or low cloud almost impossible. So ever wondered why there's a big old number at the end of the runway? In this case, 22. This isn't runway number 22. The number here refers to the bearing of this runway. In this case, 223 degrees. In this case, you lose the last digit. So that turns into 22. Okay. If this was a bi-directional runway, as if, if you could land in both directions, there would also be a big old 04 at the other end. However, you can only land in one direction here. So yeah, that's why. It says 22. Okay, the runway is 537 meters long and 80 meters wide. The first 134 meters are 12.5%, 280 meters at 18.6%, and the final 123 meters are only 0.46%. The runway is slightly arched with the center 40 meters being 2%, and the outer 40 meters being 4%. A popular myth was the runway was used for the start of the James Bond film, Tomorrow Never Dies. This, of course, is false. Uh, that runway is in the Pyrenees, previously called the Altiport de Paris Sud Balestas. Uh, excuse me if I've uh, uh, ruined that. However, it has now since been renamed the 007 Altiport. So back in 2005, the runway hosted the end of one of the stages for the Tour de France, which was won by Alessandro Valverde, who was gifted his first stage win by Lance Armstrong in the final meters, as Lance has already got the yellow jersey. In 2018, it hosted a stage of the uh, Ferrari Rally Cavalcade de Monte Bianco for over 150 of Ferrari's best customers. There were at least an estimated 50 million euros worth of Ferraris on the tarmac. A sight to be seen. Well, there you go. 10 facts you may or may have not have known about Courchevel's Altiport. If I've missed anything out, or if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Uh, if you'd enjoyed this, of course, click the old like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. And on that, I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.